Okay, if you haven't used our sonar indicator before, it is a way of analyzing frequency waves by using uh, the same techniques as passive sonar. So we look at the past uh, frequency waves, which you can see in pink, to forecast the future frequency waves, which you can see forecasted there in green. So how we use this is we actually will draw on our, our pattern, for say, um, and... We'll map it in just like that. And once the point where the pattern actually completes, you can see if we go too far, it's, it's going to fail and say no pattern. But if we come up here and we have a valid pattern and we see that sonar is actually heading down, but the projected frequency waves are actually heading up, that's what we actually want to see in order to forecast our next move in the market. So we might uh, use sonar in that sense to help us gauge if we should be waiting a trade heavier or lighter. And that part of it is going to keep us consistent. So whenever we have a new pattern come out and we're trying to figure out do we weight it heavier, do we weight it lighter, that's what we, use, what we actually use sonar for to help us determine that by looking at the past frequency waves and applying passive sonar techniques to forecast the future uh, currency waves. So that's essentially how it works. Now this works on any time frame. It will work in any market. So whatever you do decide to trade, um, all you need is enough past data, which in this case we're looking at about 200 bars of past data in order to forecast that, that future frequency waves. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll work in any market and on any time frame.